Hi, this is Sarah with Pinoka Chrysler. Today we're going to be having a walk around on a brand new 2016 Chrysler 300 Sport Alloy Edition in a gloss black. Under the hood it has a 3.6 liter V6 engine with your 8 speed automatic transmission. Coming down the front you have some nice styling and then you also have your parking sensors. And then there's a camera down in front here that will help you with your active brake assist and your cruise control, your adaptive cruise control. That way when you're getting too close to a vehicle, it will let you know to slow down or help you with your braking. And then when you have it on the cruise control, it will also adjust the speed for you so that you aren't too close or too far behind a vehicle. Coming around the side here, you're going to be riding on a set of 19 inch alloy rims with a set of Michelin Primacy MXM4 tires. You have your disc brakes on all fours and then you have some guarding down underneath to help you keep the mud and everything away. Keeps everything all nice and tidy. Helping you into the Chrysler 300, we have our keyless entry and remote start. You also have your trunk button, so you hit it twice, so your trunk's gonna open, and your panic button, which I am not gonna show you today. <laughs> so I'm gonna start it up. And then another cool thing is with this vehicle, you don't actually have to hit your unlock and lock. Um, if you just walk up to it and you touch this button, it's gonna automatically unlock for you because it senses the keys. All right, so we'll go have a look inside and we'll see what else it has to offer. All right, so here we are on the inside. I'm gonna come over to the driver's door here. If you can see, we have our power unlock and lock, power windows and our power mirrors. Coming up here, we have a one and two, so you can set your seat um, for you or your husband or whoever's gonna be driving it. So you just hit one and it's gonna adjust it to how you want it and two, it will adjust how they want it come down here there's all the uh, seat adjustments so that you can set it all up the way you like it and then you save it in that one or two and then when you get in it's just just the way you like it coming on in just bear with me have all of our controls here on the steering wheel so this is your controls for your menu options up there for your odometer gas gauges you have your climate settings for outside as you go through that you have your messages your audio your trip info fuel economy, driver assist, and then your vehicle info there, speedometer, screen setup, and then back to your messages again. So all kinds of stuff you can go through. You also have your phone settings there, so you can answer, hang up your phone, and then your Bluetooth you connect. Over here we have our cruise control settings, and then you also have your adaptive cruise control settings, which is pretty cool. So you can um, it'll let you know when you're getting too close to a vehicle. It'll speed up for you or slow down for you with that camera that I showed you up in the front there. So that's pretty awesome. Pretty soon our cars are just going to be driving our, themselves. It's getting pretty crazy. And then you also have your paddle shifters up, up, up here on the steering wheel so that you can um, shift when you put it into standard mode. And then on the back there's also, um, when you reach your hands around, there's going to be your media controls there as well. So you can turn your music up and down and switch the songs as well. Coming into the center here, we have our nice LCD screen. And then you can hear on the radio, you have your AM, FM radio and your Sirius XM radio as well, which is pretty nice. Have your media and you have your controls here. So you can control your heated seats, heated steering wheel, your mirror dimmer and all that kind of stuff. You have your rear sunshade and then your passenger heated seats as well. Right here you have your Uconnect apps which controls pretty much everything in the vehicle and then your climate control is here as well. So you have your separate control so you, if your passenger is hotter or colder they can adjust it and you can as well. With Again there's the heated seats and the steering wheel there as well. And then you have your navigation here and then your phone. I'm gonna hit no because we're not gonna pair the phone right now. Uh, okay, and as we're coming down here, you have your climate controls as well. So if you don't want to use it through the screen, you can just adjust it through here. Up here, you have your lane assist here. So if you're getting um, out of your lane, your car is gonna notify you or help you correct yourself back. Um, right here, you have this so that if you're getting too close to a vehicle or too close to an object, it's gonna help you brake or notify you that you need to brake have your traction control, and then you have your rear park sensors there. Just 
gonna notify you when you're backing up if you're getting too close to something. In the middle here, you have your gear shifter, which is pretty cool, it's a little knobby. So if you turn that to reverse, hello, you got your backup cram as well, camera. Um, and then you put it into neutral, drive, and then the, over into standard, which you'd use those pedal shifters on the steering wheel. You have a cubby down in here with a 12 volt plug, and then another little cubby right there. So have your drink holders, and then in your center console here, it's got all kinds of stuff. Got your auxiliary input, your uh, USB, and your SD card slot. You with that, you got some more storage down in there, and then another 12 volt plug. This car's really nice. It's leather all throughout with some nice stitching on it as well. Super sleek. All right, so if you guys want to come with me, we'll go have a look at the back. All right, so here we are in the back again. We have those nice leather seats with the stitching on them. Super sleek. And then coming into the center here, we have our heated seat controls and some USB ports. There's some map holders on the back of the seats here and plenty of leg room. Super nice. You also have a pull down here for your center with a little mini center console, which is pretty cool. You don't see that in a lot of vehicles. And then some drink holders as well. You have a nice big sunroof as well, which I forgot to show you. You can vent or open. Okay, we have our 60-40 split seats back here. So if you just pull this little latch, it's going to fold down and then you have access to the trunk. And plenty of room to store things. Alright, just bear with me as we're going around the back. I'm just going to open the trunk here. And you have a nice big trunk, lots of space got your floor mats back there and then which I also forgot to show you is you have Beats by Dre throughout this car so there's a wicked sound system it's pretty awesome again plenty of space in the trunk back there coming around to the passenger side again you just pull that little latch and everything just folds completely down passenger side here got some storage down in the door there again you have your power options on the door and those nice leather seats again have a console down in there glove compartment All right and that's our Chrysler 300 so if you have any questions or you want to come on down to Pinocchio Chrysler, we have an excellent sales team, a great finance team, and everybody that can help you out with all your needs. We're just on the south end of Pinocchio on Highway 2A. Thanks!